welcome to today's tutorial today we will see how to make uh, the car ai and how it will follow the path uh, for the race and it will be like opal world game type and uh, we will also see how we can generate random colors like uh, these are very monotonous so it is not looking interesting so let's uh, look at first what we will make today then uh, we will start the tutorial okay see now uh, they are of different car and they will start following some path uh, and uh, slowly they will uh, increase their speed and we will look how they are increasing their speed mm -hmm. I think uh, we will increase the speed of this car so uh, they will look cool uh, but this is for today's okay so let's start okay so we have switched to the unreal so what we will do we will create uh, one actor so go to the c++ class under the that days uh, so just click right new c++ and uh, it will be the actor click next uh, functionality and uh, c underscore part uh, so we are just uh, no it will be like under functionality and uh, path uh, let's give the name c underscore path uh, so it is the c plus plus variant so that is why c uh, we are suffixing with c so c underscore path uh, let's create the class Uh, delete it uh, because uh, as it will create this uh, class for you so there is some bug because it includes the folder path so just remove it and it will compile successfully okay so it has compiled so under functionality we can see we have C path so uh, let's go there first let me close the unreal side click reload all perfect uh, so first thing is we need the component the spine component uh, and we will uh, do the spine along the axis or the along the road so under the public section you property you print rewrite edit anywhere Plus your spline component, spline path. Uh, so we will use the spline component. So that is why use spline component. We are just fixing class because we don't want to include uh, the class here. We will do it in uh, C plus plus in CPP file. Okay. So just switch and. Uh, we have to initialize the component so under this spline path is equals to create default sub object okay we have initialized it but uh, we haven't included the they include file for this uh, use spline component just control and click you on use spline component and hover over it and it is see after class it is saying the component slash spline component so we will just include it okay close it perfect uh, so this thing is done let's close this and now we will switch to our uh, car base okay so let me close it all because we don't need it so uh, what basically we want like this is the path and let's imagine this is our spline so what we want with our car like it will 
we will just look at the forward vector of our car let's uh, take x distance or the 500 distance uh, for now and we will look at the spline which point is the closest to that vector and we will move the car to that uh, point okay so uh, it has to be on the runtime so we will do it in tick function so we will go in the text function below exhaust so how we will get to know that uh, if the car is driven by us or it is ai so if so we will just cast our get controller so get controller and we will cast it to the a player controller So we will cast it so if it is true then uh, it is driven by us the player or else it is ai so oh, we will just put negation uh, okay so uh, this is ai car if this is true okay so uh, we will create a path ref first uh, like we will include the uh, any path which is uh, in front of us so what we will do we'll include that uh, that class which we just created so a c underscore path i'm just uh, for including i have just wrote this down so i just use this plugin as it just include this death ray functionality and c path okay so uh, okay so i will like you gameplay statics get actor of class get world comma uh, so what class do we want like we are searching in, on the whole uh, game we are searching for a class of specific so we have to ac underscore path static class okay so it will give us the uh, give us the class the actor we have to cast that so cast and it will be of type ac underscore path right and we will save it so we need a variable for that so we will name it as path ref path ref equals to we create global variable path ref okay switch to header file uh, we'll keep it under private and I will like name it will be of type ac underscore path class so path ref if path ref is not there then we will find it in the game or else if we want because it is very expensive task right uh see if if you are iterating something in the uh game like get world you are iterating something or you're spawning then they are heavy tasks so make sure that you are doing it once okay okay uh so first we want uh the vector forward vector for our car so f vector Get actor forward vector and uh, we are just taking a uh, 500 distance like uh, how far do you want the forward vector from your car so i am just taking random value 500 bucks for me so i am just taking the 500 now i want the closest point on the spines right so f vector 
line closest point path ref spline path okay so we we are searching uh the closest point to the spline right so we have stored that actor the spline which is under the path ref so i'm just taking the spline path dot okay that function is not coming uh which so you spline component i have to make uh include in our core also so i'm just copying this value the component one this one include i have to include it under the car base also okay now it should be good to go okay dot okay now it is available so find location closest to the world location perfect okay so i have to find the closest location so now get sorry so we have to put the vector near which uh, position do we want that so vector forward comma and what type do we want whether it is relative or world so we want world so e spline coordinate space and it is world okay so we have got the uh, closest point on the spline and uh, we want rotation also so f rotator is spline point rotation because uh, we have to rotate our car also so that is why we have to set the steering uh, so according to rotation we will do that so you kismet math library find look at rotation get actor location come on So what we are doing here, let's imagine this is our car and we are going straight and uh, this is the forward point, okay? And this is our spline. So this is the uh, this is the tangent, right? So we uh, okay to this location. Uh, sorry, on the spline where we have find the location. Let's imagine it is here, and in our front uh, front the location is here. So we will just uh want to know this angle according to this we will steer our uh our steering wheel so for that uh, we just we are just doing the get actor location to this spline closest point okay okay but i don't think that we need that rotation uh okay let's uh command that out okay so this is the spline closest point um so float angle to move is equals to u kismet math library map range clamped I, i'm just clamping it down the value so u kismet math lib library normalize delta rotator so spline point okay let's uh, let me have it spline point rotation comma get actor rotation okay and we want the yo value of it mm. yes yo Am I doing something wrong? Rotator. Yep. Dot here and comma and v we I am just I have to like minus ninety to ninety and I will map it to minus one to one. Okay so let me explain what i am doing here so i am just normal uh, i am just getting the delta value uh, which is between the spline point rotation and the get actor rotation 
if i am if my car is in this way and our like uh, the delta rotator uh, which we have calculated before it is this way then we want the difference of it so basically it will be like this so we want this difference and it will be the yaw axis because i don't want uh, x rotation or y rotation i just want uh, z rotation uh, around the z axis so it will be the yaw and i will map it uh, because it will be like minus 90 to 90 yaw is minus 90 to 90 and we will we want to map it on minus one to one okay okay so next we will just set the steering wheel so get vehicle vehicle movement component yes set steering input and angle to move and uh, we now uh if you will like uh, you will instantaneously increase the speed so it will hit something so i just want if uh, we are going straight then it should uh, have like speed 0.5 or else it, uh, less than uh, 0.5 and i want my ai to slow okay so let's code that we have uh, set the, our steering input so i will do the same for get vehicle moment component dot set throttle input okay so uh, we will clamp the same uh, same we will use clamp so you kismet math library map range clamped and uh, we want the angle like how much angle do we have more from left to right so it was from 0 to 1 and uh, i want the abs value because it can be minus 1 also so i will just use abs so you this math, math library abs absolute value and angle to move okay so i just want to clamp it between 0 to uh, 0 comma 0.5 comma 0.5 comma 0.1 mm. okay so uh, i'm just first looking at it uh, the angle I am just mapping it between 0 to 0 0.5 and uh, the output will be 0 0.5 to 0 0.1 only. I will not uh, like put the throttle maximum to 1. Okay. So I won't do that. Okay. Uh, okay. Here's some error. To close this down. Are we getting anything else? There's something. Oh, okay, I haven't put the parenthesis here. Now everything should be good to go. Okay, so Control Shift B. Again error. Again put parenthesis. Okay, perfect. Now let's switch to the Unreal. Okay, so and it is up what it will do we'll just drag the c path uh on the world so i'm just drag it here and if you look at carefully there will be little uh rect cube type is there i press alt and just extend it i will just take the top view so it will be easy for me just to like frame it over the map Okay, perfect. I'm just pressing Alt, so I can get better so let's keep it till here just for the testing and, uh, okay switch to perspective and check if everything works fine or not so 
our car is already there so let me simulate the game So they start running. Now, so secondary thing is, uh, if you think that its speed is less, so you can just increase it by using, uh, like, by increment the 0.5 to 1, and it will work. So if you want to like increase the value, so just. You are just set okay, so it will be one, not point one. Okay, perfect. Or point five to one actually. We are just uh, doing it in reverse order, so it will be one. Compile and save. Okay, so just save it. Uh, next is let's do it in the blueprint, and because we want some color. So for it, just go inside the begin play and uh, inside the begin play, we will, if it is uh, not player controlled, okay. So what we will do, if it is false, then um, okay, how we will achieve the color thing. So just go to the mesh and open the skeleton mesh of the car. And look what ele at what element uh, that main color is there. So it is this one. So we just want this one. Uh, so it is at element one. I just want to change its color. So if it is false, then I know it is AI. So let's get mesh. Get material. Get material element is one so i will just put it one get no create instance instance dynamic material instance yes okay it is false okay uh now i want to update some variable of it so let me open this material because we, we just created the instance of it in the blueprint and uh, we will choose different color for base color and the chameleon color so there are two things which we can update so we will do that so set vector parameter value and i want to make two Okay, and I, I just want this value to be random, uh, but let me set the parameter first. So it is base color. Oh, hope I get the spelling correct. Base color. And second will be uh, chameleon color. C-H-A-M-E-L-E. M A L E O N perfect and we will just randomize this value so make linear color we want alpha to be one and we want random float uh, if you put the random uh, like if you will connect with this node only only one node though and it will not work because it will be give you the same value so you have to do like this we will just copy paste it compile and save and let's try okay so we have changed the parameter of this instance but we haven't set the instance yet so i will just set material for one and i want the value to be this instance so i will just set it after changing the parameter compile and save next thing is the decal 
if you look at here the decal uh, the default decal value is one which I don't think uh, is great so I will just switch uh, okay where is that MPC under the NPC okay I'm not getting the NPC parameter okay there is some error maybe we can uh, look it afterwards uh, let's focus okay let me uh, hide it compile and save okay so let me simulate and check if uh, the color is changing or not the color changed both have both car have different colors and uh, they are just following different path uh, so that was it for today uh, please like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, if you have special request or something you want to learn then you can comment below okay uh, thank you